Hello everyone, welcome back to My Crafting World. This is Anna. Guys, if you're new to my channel, I really would appreciate it if you considered hitting that subscribe button and then hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any of the upcoming videos. Guys, today we are going to make the box that I had uh, shown you for the caddy. So the triangular box with a straight edge. So I I started out with a piece of uh, cardstock that is six and a quarter by seven. On the six and a quarter inch side, I scored at um, let me see one and a half. Okay, and then I scored at two, three and a half, and then I scored at five and three quarters right here okay and then I flipped it and my half inch tab right here is going to be at the bottom this way and then I scored at half an inch I scored at one and three quarter inch five and one quarter and then the last one at six and a half okay and as you can see these are the tabs right here these half inch marks are the tabs that are going to create the uh, the closure the closing tabs okay so we're going to do some cutting and some scoring here or some cutting and folding first of all I want to uh, we're going to use this score mark right here as a guide along with this one right here okay on each Side. we're going to need this and these you don't have to mark them I'm just showing you what we're going to use so I am going to take my ruler and I'm going to find these are the score marks I'm going to find my halfway mark in the center of this tab right here so I'm going to place my 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 ruler and I found that one and one eighth inch is about the center so I'm going to take my pen and I'm going to put a tick mark at one quarter of an inch on each side of the center, which is your six inch mark or your zero. Uh, and I'm going to put two little marks right there. That's your center and this is half an inch. I flip it over. I do the same. So about one and one eighth on each side right here and then your tick marks right there and right there that's all you're gonna do for those for now I don't need this this and I don't need these either I'm gonna cut along the bottom of each of these score marks on the six and a quarter inch side okay and then I'm gonna cut this one out and this one out I don't need those either okay along with these I don't need these these were there just to make this flap right here okay so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut straight down on this score mark and I'm going to cut this one at an angle so I, I tend to do uh, when I cut I tend to do both sides at the same time okay I don't do all of one side and all of the other. I try. I anyway. So I am going to cut these right down the center. All these score marks right down the center. Okay, and then on the other side. Okay. So I don't need these. I'm going to cut this one off and you can either do it with your scissors or you can do it with your X-Acto knife. I just use my scissors and just snip that right off. I don't need those tiny ones right there at all. Okay. Now for these flaps right here, I'm going to cut off roughly about probably an inch. Yeah. I'm going to cut off about an inch. Okay, about an inch right there and about an inch right there. I'm just going to shorten those right there. 
and as you can see they're not straight they don't have to be now what I'm gonna do with this one these four right here is I'm just gonna take a large wedge out of each side but it has to be to the corner guys we have to take that wedge out and it's got to be all the way to the corner okay so if you want to start at the corner you could and just take out a large wedge starting at that starting at that score mark and we may have to adjust it uh, when we put our box together but we will see if and how much adjusting we will have to make again there's that one and here is that one so this is what it's looking like so far now um, on on this this is our flap so our our tick marks we're just gonna cut straight down on those tick marks right there okay and then we're gonna cut off these we're just gonna cut straight down on our tick marks right here okay and then we're going to cut this corner right here we're going to cut that corner off so i you can freehand it i'm just showing you with the um with a pen where we're going to cut and it's actually a good idea to use your pen or a pencil probably a pencil so you can erase any marks that rem remain behind we're going to cut the all that off all of this this right here we're going to cut that off so i'm going to go ahead and put a another line and then i'm going to leave this one i'm going to show you what i did so i took my scissors and i already cut right there so just cut straight across okay so you cut straight across and i okay right there and then cut straight across this way okay and then we're going to do the same right here I'll just follow that line you drew okay so I was lazy I didn't draw a line I just took my scissors and I just put it right there folded this down a little bit to help guide my scissors and I just cut up that line and that was it guys that's what I did I didn't draw a I didn't draw a line I just cut it get rid of some of this trash that's distracting okay this is all one more tiny little detail here and I did round these little flaps so they would uh, go into the the you know so it would close better so I did round these and again I'm not doing a very good job but uh, just so you get an idea of, of what I did. Okay, so we are finished here. Now we're gonna fold on our score lines, but before we do that, I'm going to, I use glue for my other one, but I am going to, um, I'm going to put a piece of tape just to make it a little bit faster on my flap, okay? so now i'm going to fold all my score lines all right guys there are all my score marks folded now what i'm going to do is take this tape off of course i you can use glue this is just to make it quicker and I glued this to the inside of my box to give the outside a little more of a finished look. All right. Okay, there we go. Glued down. I took my bone folder. I did burnish it from the inside to get a good contact. Okay, there's our box, guys. But, um, so remember I told you we might have to adjust these flaps. You do not want the flaps to touch this back uh, side of the box. So I just took my scissors and I adjusted it a little bit more to where they did not touch the back of that box because it's going to it's gonna make it, it, it won't close properly if they do touch that back part of your box. 
and again you can draw lines and all that stuff but um yeah who has time for that i don't so uh there's that okay there's that end and then uh, i'm going to check this in to make sure that the flaps don't touch and this one this one does this one will probably be all right but i'm gonna trim it down a little bit anyway so let me trim this one down and I'm just going to trim this one just a little bit more just to make sure that it's not touching. But you don't want to get rid of the flaps altogether, okay? So there's that, okay? So that looks fine to me. Close it, tuck in your tab, and you have your box, guys, okay? You have your box. It's really, it really comes together really quickly, especially since you... Uh, you know you follow the tutorial you know where your cuts are you know where to fold things like that and there is my box guys there there are my boxes um, okay so let me show you this was the I think this was one I don't even know okay this was the side that I did not use my the ruler on and then your layering pieces of course you just measure see how wide it is see how much border you want around your box and on this side on this one what I did was took a piece of paper I think it was two by one and then I laid it down and again you know guys I'm 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 lazy that's all there is to it okay so I took a piece of uh, cardstock whatever cardstock you want and I think I cut I cut it at two by one so I opened up the lid and then I placed my paper there. You can see how much border do you want? Do you want it wide? Do you want it, you know, what whatever border you want. I cut it at the width of, of the front of this box. So I cut it at two and a quarter. Yeah, so I guess I cut it at two and a quarter and I measured how much border I wanted. And then I flipped it over and I simply drew a line from the bottom whoops from the bottom to the top and again guys I used a pencil from the bottom to the top took my scissors first of all I cut this right here and I just went a little bit inside these lines and then a little bit inside these lines right here to give it a border and then um, if you need to make any adjustments you can and that will give you your liner your mat piece for your lid and your bottom all right guys really super super simple all right guys thanks for watching i hope this was helpful don't forget the thumbs up and we will talk to you later thanks a lot guys